100 NFL games in a row. Something that may never be done. It may not. But today in this video, we are going to test out if a team of all 99 overalls could do it. In case you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Hit subscribe, turn that little bell on the side. That'll make sure you're notified of all of my new videos. And I'm going to be shouting out and showing on the screen three new subscribers every single video. The only problem with today's video, okay, and you guys are going to see it on the screen, boom, right now. The roster that was used was the Houston Texans. Now, as a Tennessee Titans fan, this almost hurts. This almost hurt me physically to have to see them all be 9-9 overalls, especially this one guy, okay? Because in the world of if any NFL player had a chance to potentially one day become a 9-9 overall, there's one guy who I know would never. And his face is going to be lit up on the screen now. This is how everybody and their mama, if Brandon Whedon's a 9-9 overall, so is Johnny Manziel. So is Jamarcus Russell. So is everybody. Let me just show you guys this roster real quick. Alfred Blue, Jay, wide receivers. You got DeAndre um, Fuller. Anyone else here? Riley McCarron. Um, he does like drop off a little bit here. There's a few that aren't 9 overall. I imagine these are just free agents and stuff. Um, Kyle Fuller. Why is... That's super weird. That is super weird. They have two Fullers on the team. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I found that was a little bit weird. Left outside linebacker 99. So this squad is going to be going through a thing where they have to win 100 games. Now, this is where I come in, okay? I went and I bought a red pepper today. Okay, bought a red pepper. It's in my fridge right now. And if I get my prediction wrong, I will do the red pepper challenge and I will eat it on camera right now, okay? 100%. If I get it right and the video gets 1,500 likes, I will do it anyways in the next challenge. I'm just trying to make these a little more entertaining. How I'm going to be doing this is I'm actually going to be doing some studying on the side. I'm going to make a whole video montage, seeing if we can go 100 and 0 throughout the seasons. Pretty much each game will probably only have 19 games, but we'll do an extra couple. It'll round out to about 100. If we get it, I don't have to do it. If we don't get it, I have to eat a red pepper directly after. Leave your guys' comments down below. What should the next challenge be? There will be three comments showed in the next video of different challenges and stuff. So make sure to leave a comment down below. God bless you. It's time to go get into this. This is going to be one of the most interesting simulations you guys ever see. I'm going to do a lot of music to it. It's going to be really, really fun. And I'll see you guys directly after. So, uh, so guess who doesn't have to eat a red pepper? Oh my gosh! Okay, so just touching on everything that happened there. So, there was a bunch of weird stuff that kind of went out during the simulation. First little bit, it was 19-0, 19-0. I said 20 just because I, I don't care. I, it's 20 games in my opinion. I was thinking wildcard division. I didn't think about the fact they wouldn't be in the wildcard. It is what it is, still 100 games. The craziest thing was, after three seasons, they had completely diminished. Now, that wasn't fair because the a goal was a 9-9 overall team. They went down to 9-7 and seven after three seasons. That team had zero 99 overalls on it, so I actually had to reboot, restart, because the challenge itself is can a 99 overall team win every single game? Obviously, if they lose all their players and they have all of their, like, 
old guys like 64 overall Tyler Irvin getting the snaps if they if they have all that stuff going on obviously they're not going to do it so right now I'm just gonna show you guys the stats and stuff on the screen throughout the year if there's any records and stuff they go on like I said if you guys want me to do the challenge I will 100% do the red pepper challenge we just gotta get that like goal I just want to talk about something real quick that I think is very important around this time of year in case you guys didn't see my last year. it's Christmas time um, which is such an amazing time of the year but during Christmas I just want you guys all to to try and not just make it about yourself and that's that's I'm not trying to say you guys are selfish or anything, but that's something I'm really going to focus on this year is we, it's, though I may be fortunate enough on Christmas where I can get gifts, I have a YouTube channel, I have everything I could want. There's so, so many people out there who don't have that same luxury. Like I was riding the bus yesterday and I was just riding the bus home because I don't have a car where I live because everything is so close quarters. You don't really need a car, but there's a ton of homeless people on the bus. So I was just kind of, I just kind of looked at one and he started talking to me and he's like, I was like, Oh, how's your... Well, he asked me how my Christmas is going, and I told him, oh, like, it's really excited, I'm going home and stuff. And he just was like, oh, that's really, really awesome. And I knew by looking at his eyes, he didn't have that same situation. He didn't have the same opportunity. And I just want everyone to just think about other people, because though it's the happiest time of the year for some, though you may get to wake up on Christmas morning and open 10 gifts, there's so many people out there who don't even have a chance to open it. That's why I like highly encourage, if you do have money, like this year I am supporting... Um, me and my sisters are actually supporting a whole family so we all buy gifts these kids like give you their Christmas list and you actually just go and buy them all the presents that they want you're completely anonymous but then you know it's a good feeling that so though it's a little bit of money and maybe I get to open less packs on ultimate team you know you made some kid really really happy who didn't have the same opportunity that was just kind of the message I wanted to spread I had a little bit of time at the end of this video just based on the way I did it uh, but anyways guys Merry Christmas to all of you I hope you guys enjoyed this video I tried to make it entertaining like so we found out like the main things we found out the records um, we had they think the top guy had like 5,000 yards or something like that so he did have a pretty good season on the ground overall though this video was a ton of fun I really hope you guys enjoyed it I enjoy doing these type of simulations where I don't have to just randomly awkwardly act like I'm excited every time I see it where I can just sim it up into a big montage ball and you guys can just push it and then you guys can all just watch it God bless each and every one of you have a great day and I'll see you all next time